school pride and pillager is a little more set in stone nowadays, or at least set in brick. An eight foot by eight foot husky red brick mural now stands in the school commons area. It's the handiwork of pillager art teacher Dan Devine and senior Matthew Neurer. Yeah, so we just uh, stack it up, carve into it, and once it's done, we uh, just take it all down and mark them, um, number them. And then after that, we fire them. We fire them here. This is going to live past our own, our own ages, right? So um, just our own, my, my son being not even one years old will be able to walk through this school and say, this is what my dad made. And, you know, and, and as he grows older, he can share it to the family um, as his family continues to grow. So, yeah, it's pretty rewarding. Um, yeah, with the new part of the school, I guess uh, they were um, allocating money in, so that was going okay, to the school board. Allocated in. Yep, with uh, finding out though, that's part of the process too, where you sit there and you say it's going to be about a ten thousand dollar project, and then you find out freight and bringing up the brick. It came from Sioux City, Iowa. Um, you know, directly off the conveyor belt. It was wet brick. They had to hand pick it off, and then um, wrap it up, double plastic into. Um, a pallet and then uh, as it came to us still wet and pliable and movable um, that was about a ten thousand dollar ride up and so yeah we had to go back and say can we get another five thousand you know and we both were able to get paid through the process and um, that was over a hundred and I don't know what we factor hundred and seventy some hours hundred and eighty Plus, because of some of the prep work and the other things that we needed to have going to it, image development, yeah. Um, so. So, what was the total price take on it? Uh, about fifteen, fifteen thousand was estimated. Yeah.